In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite blitzes in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. I do videos like this every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And in this video, we're talking about the nickel 245 odd. I think the nickel 245 odd is one of the better formations uh, in the entire game. So much so that I wrote an entire defensive guide on this formation. So if you want to pick up my entire nickel 245 odd defensive ebook, there's going to be a link in the description. I'm going to also put a link in the pinned comment below so that you can get access to the 245 odd defense for just 15 bucks. So if you want to get that, you just click that link. It'll take you right over to the website and we'll get you all squared away. Now, the play we're going to be going over in this video is. Is the LB Cross 3 Show 2. We're going to show you how to get some very simple passive pressure that's going to be very effective, I think, against a lot of different formations. All right, so the LB Cross 3 Show 2 out of the Nickel 245, the setup is really simple. Literally, all we're going to do is we are going to crash our defensive line to the right. We're going to zone out that middle linebacker on the right side of the screen so we can make kind of a Mabel concept. You could deep half over there as well if you want to so that you don't get bombed. And then the last step is we're going to go ahead and grab the safety and we're going to stand kind of right here. And I personally like to man up the defensive end on the left side of the screen onto the running back. So it's a three man pressure. I'm going to hold left trigger at the snap of the ball. And what you're going to see here is we're going to get some simple a gap pressure. And it doesn't always come in. Like I said, it is a little bit of a passive blitz. I'll show you um, a little bit more aggressive of a blitzing concept here in just a second. Uh, I might have waited a little bit too long as well. Sometimes with practice mode, it can be a little bit finicky in terms of you waiting a little bit too long. So anyways, let me show it to you again. That time again, we got picked up by that guard. So must have ran this a little bit too much before I did this video. But anyways, let me show you the heavier blitz. And this is a five-man pressure. Uh, all we're going to do for the five-man pressure is we're just simply going to blitz the slot corner on the right side of the screen and then we're going to QB contain so as you see here real simple and what you're going to see is if you do this you're going to pretty much guarantee your pressure you're either going to get edge pressure or you're going to get a gap pressure at your opponent now I like this three-man version another version of this blitz that you can do is you can go ahead and leave this defensive end on the left side of the screen blitzing and what you'll see is this does uh, sometimes help the consistency as you see right there the guard is being basically psychic normally you're going to get this little lull double Double team uh, effect that's going to happen again I might need to sub out JJ Watt so that I get some fresh players in there sometimes in practice mode that's a little bit of a thing but again you see Isaiah Simmons I like to put Isaiah Simmons there someone with good pursuit let me sub out JJ Watt real quick and show you this blitz one more time uh, just to show you kind of what happens again I think that occasionally what will happen in practice mode is sometimes if you run the blitz a little bit um, it will basically kind of dumb out so let me just grab some fresh players in there I'll just put anybody in there. It doesn't matter their abilities or their or their uh, talent level. You're going to be just fine. So again, LB Cross three show two. And what you'll see here um, is I'll just run that that four man version real quick. Just simply crash your line to the right zone. That guy, as you see, very first time. You see what I'm talking about. That's exactly kind of what you're going to get. So in Mutt, what I like to do is I like to put unpredictable on my nose tackle. It's going to help you in the run game. It's also going to help you in the pass game because the resistance isn't going to be built like that. Now, the other thing is, like I said, you can drop double Mabel. So you see here, I'm going to put a three-man. And as you see there, that's how Isaiah Simmons got a little bit caught up. I will say in Mutt, it's a little bit easier because the players you're going to be putting in those positions are going to have significantly better um, – they're going to have significantly better um, – like pursued and, and change of direction and stuff like that. So they're not going to get as, as bagged. And then, of course, as you see right there, 65 was able to pick me up on the three-man pressure. So, um, But anyways, those are a couple different variations of the LB Cross 3 Show 2. The five-man will basically guarantee you pressure. Um, so you'll see right here, this will this is pretty much guaranteed pressure. Like, I will get pressure pretty much every single time. Um, and, of course, as soon as I say that I get picked up, um, I will typically get pressure out of this. Um but anyways, this is LB Cross 3 Show 2. It's kind of a fluky blitz. It's a lot better on the other side as well. Um, you know, so again, it's just a simple fluke blitz, really, is it's loop blitz. I like it because what it does is uh, you're going to get pressure. But what I also like about this blitzing concept is let's say that they block their running back. Okay, now it doesn't always come in against a blocked running back, but occasionally what you're going to see happen, you're only sitting five. So I'm going to block six, okay, uh, max protect bunch. And what you'll see is when we max protect, oftentimes you'll get somebody clean. They'll either get a disengage, they'll get a contain rush, they'll get something. If especially if they block, like the, do the delay fade trick. So I'll show you here. I'm gonna delay fade my tight end. And what you'll see is when I delay fade my tight end, I'll just take that guy and put him in his own. And again, this is pretty much your setup. I like to crash my line to the right though. So again, this is kind of looks like this. 
If they delay fade their tight end, oftentimes you get this contain rusher to come around the edge. He didn't come around that time, but I will tell you there are times where the contain rush will literally get outside and will go all the way around the, the back side of the uh, of the formation. So again, let me show it to you one more time, and then we'll we'll show one other thing real quick, and then we'll be done. So what you'll see here is if I max protect and stand kind of right here, you see the see how the contain kind of loops around. Um, and then again, you still have your looping blitzer um, that is good. Now, let me just, for the sake of the video, let me sub out Collins because, again, we're getting too much resistance being built by that guard. Um, and it's kind of messing everything up. So we'll just sub him out and just kind of put some fresh players in there again. LB cross three show two. And then Steeler cross. And so, again, all you're going to do, like I said, you're just going to press, blitz the slot corner, keep it contained. That's it. You don't have to crash your line left either, especially on the, the five-man version. Um, but now what you're going to see is if I delay fade that tight end, oftentimes this is going to loop around the edge. As you see right there, that time the guy loops around and we get the, the sack. So, you know, this is a blitz that's going to give you some, some flexibility. If they block their running back, another good, another popular uh, pass protection tactic. So let's say they block their running back. Now, the blocked running back is a little bit better. Um, but what you're going to see here is if I pull him to the right, oftentimes you're going to get the contain rush coming in off of the right edge. So you're going to get the contain and the looping pressure. So, you know, they're going to have to max protect to kind of pick this up. And to be honest, even if they max protect... Um, it's not always going to pick this up. So let me see. Let me show you my play art here. This is the play. I'm going to max protect, snap the ball. And as you see right there, the looper kind of fights in. Um, you get these disengages, which I really like. So, you know, this is a this is kind of a blitzing concept that, you know, it's real simple to run. There's really not a lot of adjustments. The beauty of this is also like the three-man pressure that I was telling you about uh, in the beginning where you can basically just do it like this right here. This is actually really good against max per, uh, max protect. I will occasionally get that looper in. And again, you're only sitting three. So getting in one or two times is enough to make it worth it, in my opinion, because you're going to basically scare them. And what most people are going to do, especially if they're running gun bunch, and they see you in this specific defense right here, I pretty much guarantee you they're going to want to block the running back because they're so scared of this outside linebacker on the left side. So when you do this looping pressure, you see how much better because the blocked running back can't really deal with the pressure concepts on the backside. So then they're going to have to start, you know, blocking their tight end or whatever to stop the blitz from coming in. You know, you could easily, you know, play something to this effect right here, essentially a, a Tampa, a, you know, can a Tampa two kind of thing or whatever. And, you know, this is a pretty solid blitz for this concept. So, anyways, that's the LB Cross 3 Show 2. A couple different ways, different variations of running it. Um, please, please recommend, highly recommend putting unpredictable on your player. If you're trying this in practice mode, sometimes you need to change players in and out of practice mode. Sometimes you even need to get go out of practice mode and come back in because it's a little fluky with the offensive line. But as you can see, the pressure is fairly decent. And like I said, it's going to be very, very effective if they're blocking their running back out a bunch. I think this is one of the better blitzes in the game for when they're blocking their running back out a bunch. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to get my Nickel 245 odd defensive ebook, it's on sale for $15. All you have to do is go down into the description, click the link that I provided down there, or head on down to the comments. It's going to be pinned in the comment section below. You can click that link. It'll take you right over to the website where you can get the defensive ebook for just 15 bucks.